guys hi colors by hello everyone hey rt rainbow yeah thank you for joining in guys okay so let's wait for a few minutes to people to join hi living brushes hello okay that's wonderful hi lakshmi yeah hi daisy yeah it's just started will this live be saved yes sure this live will be saved hello hi keep joining in guys so let me introduce myself before few people to come and join in together and i'm sujita and i'm a goa artist and nakrali artist on top of that i'm an art educator and i'm one of the design team member of uh, menora stationery hi rakshi yeah hello hi nira Nice. So you can find me on my Instagram page, Suji Fine Art. First of all, uh, thank you for uh, um, giving this opportunity for Menora Stationery, and this has been a lovely day on um, this New Year. Thank you. Hi everyone. Yeah. Okay. So this is the painting we are going to do. It's uh, the name is called vintage landscape painting. And so uh, this painting we are going to do it on this art gala session. You can surely join in if uh, just give me a request video on it. I'll just um, accept your request and we can move on do uh, this painting together. Thank you, Siddhi. Thank you. So this is the gouache pad. We are going to uh, start using the gouache pad. This painting. We this is from Menora's gouache pad. It's two uh, forty GSM. I'm using this paper for actually one year. And uh, this is the sketchbook I bought from uh, Menora's Menora Stationery. And this is one eighty GSM mixed media sketchbook. and i've been working for uh, since two years right now with this menorost team as you can see able to there are plenty of other works and i really love this sketchbook guys if you are a beginner and if you can use any affordable sketchbook this is the best sketchbook i have ever bought um, yeah i'm using this sketchbook for only for gouache yeah you can see some of my works over here and few other works i did on this gouache pad as well and before that they have this uh, set of canvas boards as well so this was the cutest board they have nearly bought this is 3 cross 3 uh, inch uh, gouache pad i mean sorry canvas board and there are some different set of sizes as well it be available in square size also so i have a few other works i have did on it and and their uh, maximum uh, number of inches is up to 12 cross 16 i think you can guys check out these uh, products on their link they have uh, thank you so much thank you so much and they have their websites please go check it out and you can purchase these kind of set of um, uh, products in there it's pretty good quality guys i i really love to do uh, working with uh, this menora stationery products and yeah so let's come back to our painting 
so this is a painting we are going to do today this is names called vintage landscape painting so if you have uh, poster color acrylics and gouache you can really do this kind of painting and we are uh, going to work with the gouache pad 240 gsm it's uh, especially for gouache and also you can use acrylics soft pastel oil pastel in it it's it's up to your wish and it's actually mentioned at the back of the paper uh, the usage and all everything we can use this kind of uh, sort of gouache acrylics fine liners opaque pen soft pastel oil pastels you can use a uh, few other um, stuffs also so it's not a issue at all so today we are going to uh, paint this landscape in gouache so what is vintage um, if your painting is especially wonderful and beautiful thank you Siddhi thank you so much thank you for the appreciation and um, yes so vintage means it's kind of old stuff so I uh, personally this painting is not completely old but the color palette looks uh, vintage yes and the color the color it doesn't have any specific colors like any blues and greens it doesn't have any specific color but the color should have the faded look in it you can really see um, this is not the vibrant blue and also this is not the vibrant brown as well we are going to merely use this uh, complete color palette with faded and we are going to add little gray tones in it so that's what uh, the vintage landscape painting will express it. so yeah I'll just um, share you the uh, color palette first merely we are using lot of browns in it so I am using burn sienna and uh, the yellow tones we are uh, going to use this kind of yellow it's not a lemon yellow it's yellow light in color you can use any kind of yellows and greens by your end but at the final end you can add bit of grayish to it yeah. So we'll, add, we'll, we'll be adding little gray and a uh, little black and white to any particular color of greens and blues and all. Okay. So I'm using Turkish blue. If you didn't have any Turkish blue for the sky, you can use cerulean blue as if you want. So we'll first do the sketching. So for the sketching, I'm going to use uh, this round brush. So I'm simply taking this burn sienna color. For sketching, it merely needs uh, the thick consistency. So I'm just dividing the paper into half. So this. Uh, set is going to use the pathway that we will be building on in the pathway and on the upper area we are going to use the landscape and the sky and all everything so let's divide them together so I am just marking a simple simple line work that's all so this uh, is basically the distant trees over here and this uh, space is for the green areas and we'll start the grasslands uh, with black and brown over here and also we'll simply mark the pathway like this will end up on here so on this set of area we are going to do the grass work on the nearby areas Fine. yeah on the right hand side we will be using lot of dark shade uh, with black and browns in it and on the left side we are going to use 
the blue shades of water so if you have any doubts in the middle you can ask me anytime i'm happy to answer you guys hello shadow talks so initially we will be starting with this burnt sienna color so try to completely fill it like this so this is just a base coat use one drop of water for the base coat and if not you can use a uh, thick consistency okay so let's add black color before let them dry you just have to add the black color which brand of brush to use this one is uh, bruce show long handle brush it's golden taclon brush uh, the brush also are really good for go wash so i have just bought it so if you are using the round brush just give lot of pressure on the black one like this it will automatically mix it together with uh, the painting and that's all and on the image you can see this uh, area is much more darker in shade so since the base coat is not dried it the second layer of the black color will get mixed together and it will give you the darkest brown shade finish in it if your base coat is dried you can add one amount of one pinch of water to the black color so that the under painting of uh, brown color will reactivate and again have some white color with this burn sienna together so we are merely going to do this uh, set of work and have some white and black together and try to fill it out here this will tone down the color automatically hi shri ek which brown color you use yes this one is burnt sienna color you can use any brown color with light brown color 
because uh, the brands have different brown shades color in it so the key point of working with the vintage colors you have to tone down the color as like you will you will need to add white and black together with the specific amount of colors so it will give you the vintage look so we'll leave here by and let them dry we'll just move on to the uh, land area so on the land area we are uh, simply going to create the light touch green like i'm using yellow color with little bit of blue in it and little amount of white with So let's completely fill it all over the spaces. Add little pinch of black so that it will tone down the vibrant green color. So now it's done. And now just let them dry. The key point of using this go wash is that you have to wait until the first layer gets dried and then you have to do the second layerings. So that's why I'm using this uh, set of uh, brown color and just wait to let them dry and we'll do this color and let them dry after letting them dry we'll have to move on to the next set of color so i'm using the burn sienna and this far away uh, trees now so i'm using this burn sienna with a little bit of black to it So I'm going to use this color like over here. Fill it completely so that you don't need to show the lines over here. So we'll move on to the blue blue color areas on the sky. And here you can see the blue finish over here. So I'm using Turkish blue. You can use any other blue colors as well. But you can use cerulean blue, teal blue, like you have different set of blues. So for the sky, I'm just going to give a clean wash with flat brush. Yeah, I'm using this flat brush.
have some amount of blue color and add the white one and a pinch of black to it so this method will tone down the color If you are using lot of water in it, you just have to wait till the water gets dried completely and then you have to do the second layering. But if the consistency is moreover thick, you don't need to wait, it will dry fast. what size sheet yes this sheet is a5 sheet i'm using but the frame is 4 cross 6 this gouache pad has uh, different sizes of different sizes you can check them on their website yes, they have a square one with different size and a5 and a4 sizes i think So leave a space on the center since it has to be a little bit of uh, white color in it and uh, little sunshine over here. So leave a small space over there. So to cover the spaces you can simply add the white color with your blue one. Um, this is how you have to mix together. If you are using the flat brushes, it, it will be easy to blend the colors. And over here, I am going to add yellow touch in it. So I will have a little amount of yellow to it. Um, cover them like this. little bit of red color just use little amount of red one and you can simply leave that here and again have some white color in your brush I've just washed the remaining colors and simply use this white color On top of the red color, just add some white in it, like this. Someone requested me to join in to the live session. So, yes, and Hello. 
Are you working on anything? So are you working on anything? So I have a lot of white to it with the yellow finish in it. So um, a kind request guys, if you're truly working along with me, please give me a request. So this space is not uh, wet yet, it's not dried yet. So we'll wait for some minutes and we'll cover the few other ends. So we'll again come back to this brown area part and So this is the brush, this is the angular brush from Princeton and using for creating the bushes and all. You can even add the, uh, you can even use the round brushes. So in between I'm using the brown and black shades together. So we'll have the darkest shades over here. So have you a lot of black on the spaces? Awesome. Thank you, Sugar Dot. And if you have any other doubts, please let me go, no, guys. So we'll come back to the green area. We're just going to divide the sections now using the white color. So have some white color and a pinch of yellow to it. So I'll now design the uh, divide the sections like this. And I'm using the brown shade.
you can use liner brush for the for creating the live line over here like this So, can you see able to see the shiner path comes along? And on distant trees, I'm just simply going to use the black color. With simply give a tap on this work. That's it. So this uh, left of one will fill this left of one over here. With the, the same blue we have used. That's it. And now, now, I think this um, sky, uh, sky area is dried completely so that we can simply use this white color and have some white color at your tip of the brush. And Thank you very much. So let's do the final finish on the pathway. So I'm simply going to use the white color with the burnt sienna. Mix together and we'll do the pathways like this. This is to likely tone down the color. 
by using the white and black together Have some in between lines. This lines should not be perfect. Just give the line strokes like this in between, and have some black color, and do the same thing on the other. Aisha, you used in background also. So, um, can you please tell me exactly what the question is? I couldn't understand it. Um, And we'll do the fence work over here. Just use the same uh, brown sienna with black, black and white together. And have some straight lines right over here. So this front uh, end of the fence is much more tall. Yes, burnt sienna. Yes, for the background. I have used the burn sienna color on top of that. Just let them dry. On on top of that, we're going to use black and white together. That's all. And while um, with the deeper look, it has to be much more smaller in sizes. Like, like this. Aisha, I have used burn sienna, simply the burn sienna for the background of the pathway and on this uh, set of areas. Thanks, Ru. And we are just going to do the highlight and uh, shades together. So I have First, use this black color for creating the shadow. Like this. Thank you, Autoholic. Autoholic Smati. Yeah, thank you. We'll do the highlights now. So let's have more white. Hi, Aisha. I'm Sujita. You can check out my Instagram page, Suji Fine Art. So I'm using the white color for the highlights. So 
while uh, doing the layerings you just have to use stick consistency or else the background color will mix together when doing this kind of look sure aisham i just love to see your version and if you guys try this painting uh, please do tag us uh, please do tag suji fine art and minora stationery i just love to see your work yeah so i'm using the burn sienna with a uh, white color to draw the bushes in between make a good thick consistency while you are working with the layerings and if you are uh, working with uh, acrylics just let the first layer to dry and you can do it So we have done plenty of bushes over here. So we'll draw some flowers and all everything. If you have any liner brush, like this, a small round brush, you can still use them. So I'm using this liner brush for the flowers. Okay. Have some white color with a um, little pinch of yellow to it, and just use the dots. Or else you can do the tap like this. So I'm mixing the yellow color with the white one. So we have left over with some cloud work on. Thank you, colorful canvas. Bye, Ruchita. Yeah, thank you so much. And, uh, so we. Leftover sky part is that I'm using darker shade of blue since I am using a lot of black with it. 
Now the amount of blue. Again, we'll do the cloud work like this. If you guys have any doubt, you can ask me. I have used uh, two to three layers in this paper. Since the paper didn't get blend or any bleed at the back side, you can able to see over here. It didn't have any bend or bleed on the back side. It's, it's perfect to use gouache. I think we have uh, done our painting. If you have any doubts, guys, please ask me now because we're going to wind it up now. Um, you can check out my other few other works on my Instagram page, Suji Fine Art. And if you would like to purchase um, something like this kind of paper, it's perfect to perfect for an artist to have a good quality paper. So I think the menorah is the best choice. You have to work Turkish with black on this area. Yeah, we have used a lot of black with a uh, little pinch of white with. Thank you, Faisal. Thank you. Yes, it's finally done. Do you have, have any other doubts? Yes, you can just check out my page, Define Art, and also uh, check their check out their link for a few other products. And if you are a beginner to learn something new, you just um, don't have any other doubts to doubts to purchase this kind of paper, and this is something so good, and it's also affordable. And also, it, it comes with various different sizes also. Awesome. Thank you, Aisha. So if you have uh, done this painting, and just let me know. Uh, please tag my Instagram page, Suji Fine Art, and also to the Manoros page, Manoros Stationery. I'll just share some of the paintings on my pages. So thank you for the opportunity, Manoros. It's been a great, great day and meet new people over here. Thank you, everyone. So we'll meet you on some other live session later. Thank you.